Southwest Airlines in-flight magazine calls Baltimore the most underrated city in all of America. It's got a new 24 page spread that's out today that takes a look at the city, Charm City and its people. It's worth noting that Baltimore is one of the airline's biggest hubs. OK, article is positive publicity for a city that come on. Let's face it. It's been plagued with a lot of bad press, got a lot of issues. According to the Baltimore Sun, the city has had 26 homicides already this year. The city is also in the middle of a police corruption trial. I'm joined right now by Baltimore County Executive Kevin uh, Kaminitz. Kaminitz. Want to get that right? He also served as a prosecutor in the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office, and he's taking on Larry Hogan in the race for governor. Okay, don't want to talk politics. I want to talk about Baltimore and Baltimore County. You're a county executive. Okay, so you're representing Baltimore County, right? The city and the county are different. Well, let me tell you, I am a lifelong Baltimorean, and it's really a town that has world class hospitals and universities and cultural institutions. We got the Orioles, the Ravens, really <clears throat> great restaurants with some of the best crab cakes around. Uh, it's also the hub for <clears throat> all of the surrounding counties in which three million people call as their home simply Baltimore. Okay, you've also got that image that a lot of people see. Uh, you, you got a big corruption trial going on right now with a lot of police officers. It, it looks really bad. It is bad. Uh, so many bad officers. In fact, you just just change the police chief. Okay. Uh, high unemployment. Where are the jobs for these people? You got a housing crisis there. Uh, what does Baltimore do? You got to fix a lot of that first. Are, are we talking about all the good stuff yet? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you started off with the good stuff. I just want to get you to address that because I mean that goes out as part of the image also. Well, let me let me clarify. Of course, Baltimore City is a separate jurisdiction than Baltimore County. But what essentially happened is that uh, Baltimore City lost about a third of its population in the '60s, '70s, and '80s to the surrounding suburbs. But we still view the Baltimore as the epicenter of of our life. Uh, the problem. The problem is that the city has been plagued by a lack of investment in mass transportation opportunities, a lack of investment in to ensure quality schools, and as a result, we have con you know obvious problems that uh, result from that you're, lack you're, of investment. You're running for governor. What, what, what do you do, for example, like jobs? People need to work. You get jobs, you know, you, you affect crime. You know, pe people have a source of income. You need job training before jobs. You got to fix the schools. This is all heavy lifting. As governor, a lot of that is going to fall at your desk. How do you fix well, that? Well, you know, Baltimore has a lot of assets. It has the Port of Baltimore, which is uh, breaking records all the time. It has great access with the train station and with the airport. Uh, we have a lot of amenities, particularly our hospitals and, and universities, yeah. who are great employers. So we need new energy, especially coming from the state, where we're not just pointing fingers or assessing blame, but we're saying, OK, how do we end the disparities between the haves and haves nots in our school system? How do we have a better transportation system so that people can actually get to work on time? We have a disinvestment from the state that I think takes place in Baltimore, and we need to correct that if we want to move the city forward. There, there, there's always this D.C. versus Baltimore, OK? We've got a baseball team, you got a baseball team, football, you know, and whenever we play, we try to make it a rivalry and that sort of thing. But somebody from D.C., you're going out to dinner, whatever, you know, you got to make a decision. Why, why should I go to Baltimore? What does Baltimore have that D.C. doesn't have? Well, I think in general, Baltimore is a good tourist opportunity. It's for a day trip. We have the Inner Harbor and, again, all the cultural institutions. But uh, I, I think the, the bigger picture is how do we connect Baltimore and D.C. as one jurisdiction. I think that's the, the thought process in the next 10 years because we're really only 35 miles apart. Baltimore could actually attract a lot of homeowners who work in D.C., but it's a better housing price in Baltimore and they would be attracted to that commute if somehow we connected our transportation systems to allow us to, to reach uh, the two cities without using our car. Okay, uh, let's continue this conversation. It's nice talking to you. Hey, Bruce, really good it. to have you. Okay. Thank you. All right.